was going to record some video for some Instagram stuff because I love the Instagram stories. I'm gonna do video work for that. And I was like, you know what? I got the camera out here. I might as well shoot some stuff for the channel. So that's what we're gonna do. So. Uh, right now. Right now what I'm up to is I am cutting these blocks into soft jaws. Oh yeah, check this out. So I crushed this the other day. That's my tool center. Uh, just before New Year's there, New Year's Eve, like, I came down and I forgot to program, I forgot to program that length in there. It was a zero. So the machine thought the tool bit was way up here or the end of the tool and it just came down and it was like, Ow! just flattened it. Uh, fortunately, I, uh, I do my H offset up here. So I knew up here something was wrong. However, it was not enough time to save that probe completely. I need the soft jaws to grab this. So those that don't know what soft jaws are, uh, it's for grabbing a regular shaped stuff, but I'm gonna be cutting this stainless and I wanted to make sure I had a really good grip on it because it's gonna be thin. And the best way I think to do that is use soft jaws. So these replace the jaws, the hard jaws in my vise. So, and then so they'll you know, clamp like this. But I'll put that bit up there like that. I'll cut this out, the shape into the soft jaw. So then this is sunk between these and they'll come in and I'll just grip it so good. So that's what I'm up to today. So it took me a bit to figure out the program though. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see in there. Yeah, you can see in there a bit, hey? So there's a little stepped hole. So I need this lip at the back here to be point, I don't know, it's written down somewhere, which is really far. So under the bottom of that hole, I have to drill in and get that lip. And it's easy enough to take a half inch drill and get all the way down, but to get that lip, I need an end mill that's necked and I don't have one. So I'm having to change a few tools. So I'm going down with the 7 16th bit because it's just undersized in the half and then I blast out the outer edge of this. I don't know if you can see that. I leave a bit of a tiny little lip in there and that gives you the clearance I need on my big half inch bit which has the reach to get to the bottom of the hole. I'm pretty pumped because this is the first thing I've ever made on my machine and they are so so tight. I'm really happy with the program. I did some uh, oh look at all the programs that I've written already. So yeah, there's my main one right there, Operation One, and then I got a couple sub programs that I run. And then in those subs, I've got some local subroutines, also just to flex, uh, just so I can get a real grip, good grip or grasp. Oh, I don't need the safety for that. On all the concepts of everything that's going on, so then when I sit and use Fusion 360 or whatever I'm gonna use, yeah, I understand better what each of the G codes that it's putting in are what they're doing, I mean. And it's been a battle to learn. I have snapped, oh, I don't know. This one's already chipped from, this one's chipped from smushing it on the tool setter. It's got one tooth that's not chipped, so it's, it's still hogging out that corner in the bottom of that countersink for that bolt, so that's good. And I've broken two of the 7 16 bits, two from being too aggressive and not understanding kind of everything that's going on, but uh, no drill is broken, so that's good. Uh, but I think I got a pretty good grasp of what's going on. Yeah, and I'm trying to get some shots for the channel, but mostly my Instagram. I don't know the Instagram. It's gonna come down, drill the hole, and that'll swept a bit for the 716 bit, and then it bores out uh, that hole to point five three one, which is the exact right side for the, uh, these bolts that go in the vice face. Then I'll flip it over. The 716 bit will come down again and it'll bore out the top part to 0.84 something, I think. Uh, one inch deep, which clears the neck on the half inch bit, and then I'll put the half inch bit in, and it'll bore out the bottom of that little step hole that will do a half inch step first. And then it will bore that out to 0.781 all the way down to 1.8. Seven eight of a step in the bar. See what happens. A little more juice going. Yeah, doing a little tech drill. 
Uh, it's like a reducing tech. I think I started at point three five and end up at a point one oh at the bottom. Did he pull two inch? I don't know. I haven't really played with the settings too much because I'm pretty happy with it how it comes out. Are we juicing too much? Am I doing too much juice at the beginning? We run out. But I definitely forgot to fill it up. Oh, we should uh So, yep, sound change, we'll go one last check to clean up the bottom, click below. There we go, swap for the 760 bit. Oops. That one wanted a little more heat for this part. Oh no, this is the light part. I come down really slow because I have been a little off in because uh, I'm not probing every day. I'm kind of relying on the device to be straight and where I need it. Uh, so I'm coming down slow because I have once already been lightly off and I did a kind of plunge cut. All right, so now I gotta flip it. All right, so now I gotta change the old flipper over. So. What I did is I probed the back edge and the center of this block because I know the back face of the vise isn't going to move. We hope. Uh, so then I flip it and then all the other math works out the other way. The other On one of them though I rotated it instead of <laughs> uh, while I flipped it and yeah that kind of screwed that one up a little bit but I did catch it. Twerking to 60 foot pounds. <sighs> Too much lube. Down a little bit. Down it. Right up the tree. Uh, 0.864, and again, I'm doing this fun so slowly because I have been just slightly off and I needed to actually cut while I was fun. If I wrap it in, it would just be a mess. But yeah, it's, uh, I'm pretty happy with these. You can see it, it blasts everything out of the hole, everything groovy. Mm. Alright, so now I've done the uh, clearing thing for the half inch stick. I could probably wrap it just by then, but uh, I'm going to use one, so no. more lube to tear away those tiny little chips at the bottom. Or carry the tiny chips through the bottom instead of letting them pile up there. When you hear that uh, like the first pass as it as it comes down, it it kind of
lead is at 0.531 hole. I don't think it's quite enough. So. You go from uh, a block like this, it's all squared off and nice and flat cut, to one of these puppies. Oh, with the double step. Very, very nice and precise measurements, and uh, yeah. Did they put the door closed? But we did for the views today. I mean, I still have a hard time closing with the camera shot.
very small steps right now. 50 pounds, I Eight sets, four sets, eight total. Uh, because I suck. This guy is oval because I I flipped it the wrong way. So, anyways, I made extra. I only made six, made one set extra. I've got so much more of this to do. Like, comment, and subscribe because I'm gonna shake things up. I'm gonna get into some stainless this afternoon. Good update though. Good update.